it all started with the euro crisis. It was not only an economic catastrophe, it was also a big media failure. Most of the newspapers and most of us were doing journalism without the contextual interpretation, the explanation needed for the crisis itself. And we decided to create Investigate Europe. Today we are in a globalized society. Big companies don't have borders. You need to have a collective response to that. Many journalists work as lonely wolves. I think this is quite wrong. Much better is to work in teams and to overcome this competition issue, which basically is only the commercial logic of our employers. But it is not the logic of journalism to always compete against each other. Cross-border journalism means that you exchange on eyesight. It's not parachuting journalism, go to another country, staying for three days, paying a fixer to do your story. You already made up at your desk at home. I've never researched topics so deeply. Each time that we do a story, we almost write a book. Better international journalism than I could have done by myself. It is not global, it is not local, it is both a global journalism. We take the local, but we exchange it with the transnational, and then we come back to the local and it has another taste. It's a new, it's a new model. Of course, it's a kind of troublemaker because we spend hours on, on discussions. An Investigate Europe meeting is like a box of chocolate and you never know what you get. It's really, um, how do we start? What is the first sentence of a story? We discuss it. We discuss until we faint. There's no external balls, there's no owners, it's just the team that makes it possible for us to do whatever we think is the most interesting and the most pressing matters to work on. I believe in democracy. I believe in the right to uncover what is covered up by governments. What is the environment, what is the structure that allows these things to happen? Who are these decisions made for? Because ultimately they should be for the people politicians those in power serve and if they're not that's down to us to challenge that. This project has always been an idealistic project not a one driven by uh, commercial interests so we really really want uh, to be copied that's our main goal. My dream is that we get more together with the readers and that we have readers who actually help funding us via donations that would help make us really really independent and we could plan long term and be happy doing our work. We need to keep our level of journalism always very high. We can't just become an ordinary group doing things that other newspapers can do. This is the challenge for the future, to remain an impossible group. Support us.